and change as a man. Um, it'll be for the better, but during that period, it's going to get real mess messy. Um, and I didn't listen and it got real messy. And, but the thing is, I think second chances are a real thing. Like when it's meant to be, it'll come back to you. Uh, and I, I do believe that like my acting career, I let that go for a while. Now it's come back to me. I let go of Devon and it's come back to me because it was meant to be. And I think it's wonderful. Um, so yeah, I definitely believe we wanted this for each other to begin with. We wanted to empower the Asian community. We wanted to have a family. We wanted to show um, real love to ourselves. We we're, we love love, you know, and just- We love to be in love. Yeah. That's like the thing with Kevin and I, like, we just, we're just like loving it. <laughs> see? <laughs> this is what you don't see. Right? Well, I could tell by the way you guys are sitting that you were holding hands the whole oh. time. <laughs> But so, I mean, so there'll be no lie detector test in either of your futures is what you're saying. <laughs> I don't know. If you want to. I hope not. <laughs> I, 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 I don't think so either. What about like in the finale when we see, you know, Kim say, you know, well, if I wanted Kevin, I could still get him. Oh, well, we didn't <laughs> see that far. Oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> Um, I think she said it in one of her confessionals. Well, now that we know that, yeah. I'll comment first. The one thing that is really with me and Devon, we have history and we have a lot of trust. And my other thing too is with Devon, she's naturally beautiful. Um, and I think for me, I want someone in my life who is natural. Like I actually don't think LA living for dating was really my thing. Like, I don't really like the fillers, the plastic surgery look, um, the constant vanity of doing all this stuff to your face. And like Devon, like doesn't, she does less to her face than I do. Like I wash my face, brush my, I shave. She doesn't shave, but she, she does, she's low, <laughs> lower maintenance when it comes to aesthetics than I am. It's so know? low maintenance, <clears throat> so low maintenance. Yeah. So you want Kevin to is the diva. <laughs> No, just kidding. You want to comment on that comment? On oh, this? well, Kim, did you not hear what I said? If you want to start some shit, girl, <laughs> bring it. <laughs> yeah, Vietnamese are feisty when it comes yes. to that stuff. So. No, totally, totally. See, Javon, you're fitting into this group already. Right. What about, and Kevin, when you say, you know, you're in love and Devon is like natural. I mean, you don't like fillers and all this plastic LA stuff. Is that is that directed towards Kim in any way? Well, my thing is it yes, it is. <laughs> but I would also say this too, is that I truly believe I wasn't, it's weird. I don't know if they ever played this, but you know, Kim always said like, um, well, I need a man who could just always focus on her, not be out there so much and flirting. And, and my thing is, I actually do think it's because I was always just still in love with Devon. Like I, I, I was single the whole time we broke up. You know, I didn't find anybody that could even compare or could see myself with, you know, Kim was the closest, but it was just like, that was also a disaster, right? But I do believe that things happen for a real reason. And if I ever thanked Kim for like showing me the way, which is like, she showed me exactly what I don't want in a relationship or even a friendship at some point, you know? Like she showed me exactly what I don't want. Um, and I think what made me really appreciate the bond even more was like, you know what? After all this, she still pops up in my mind. Doesn't matter, you know, like she always pops up in my mind. Um, and now was a chance to actually finally message her one last time because I was like, look, I know she doesn't have a boyfriend now. If this is not the time, I don't think it ever will be, so. Wow. Well, as viewers, we love love too. And I think, you know, from seeing your story from that first, you know, episode season one, I mean, I think everyone is invested and it's, I mean, I I'm on board with all this. So do you guys have any relationship with Kim at all? I mean, do you speak to her at all now? Well, uh, it's a little bit tougher because there's still a division between the group, you know, um, it's a little high schoolish, and, you know, I kind of feel like, the older brother parent being like, hey, look, let's let's go back to remember. Remember so-and-so in the beginning remember before we, we started filming, <laughs> we made a bond. 
that no matter what happened, we are still friends and we are friends. We're going in this together. And that person who said that was the first person to create the division and to try to get back at other castmates. It was really ugly, you know, and I really wish we could get back to it. Um, and so, you know, unfortunately, some people get caught in the crossfire, you know, like uh, Kim feels a little bit of loyalty. So does Kelly. And subconsciously, I think they see what happens when you cross someone's loyalty. And, uh, and then I get the blunt, blunt end. I avoided getting on the bad side of some of my friends because I saw how petty they can be when um, someone pisses them off. And un it's not even that bad to be real. Like they didn't, they didn't cheat on anybody. They didn't, they didn't steal. You know what I mean? They weren't breaking the law. It was just like, well, you just didn't do what someone liked. <clears throat> and who is this person? No, you can figure that <laughs> out. <laughs> There's a lot of people I'm, that I think it could be. But <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Wow, we got it. Well, we got to, we, we have to put in mind that you know a lot more than we do. I know, I was going to say, we didn't see it yet. So you know way yeah. more. Yeah, yeah. Well, what is, you mentioned Kelly, what is going on with Kelly? I mean, are you guys still? I don't know, she hasn't called me back. So if she sees this, Kelly, call me back like you said you were going to do. <laughs> Kelly, call Kevin and Devon. Yeah. yeah, can we all be friends? I know, seriously, <laughs> what is this? This is adult, adulthood now. This is like, by the way, this is the only way I can almost even talk to some of them because they won't call me back or talk to me. So it's like, this is, I mean, some people are like, well, why do you have to talk about me in the press? I was like, because you won't talk to me unless it's this way. It's, it, listen, I see this in so many different shows and so many casts I speak to. It all starts out one way before season one airs and then everyone has a pact. It's, really it's normal, normal then. It? That's crazy, huh? I mean, it's always a pact and it's always friends. And I mean, I think your group, you guys really were real friends. So I think that makes it even more strange when it goes awry. More heartbreaking, you know, because yeah. I think when it's manufactured, you can be like, okay, let me just at least be friends with these people. But when you were building a real bond, a strong bond, and then it goes this way, it, it's more hurtful for sure. Have you guys, do you guys have any, do you speak to Jamie at all these days? Oh, I never really spoke to Jamie. I mean, unless it was like, hey, um, should I buy this Birkin? Just kidding. <laughs> Well, one person you do speak to, I mean, we really saw, I really was loving this relationship between you and Christine. I mean, you and Christine really got close this season. Yeah, we still talk. We talk on a daily. I mean, she just helped me um, remove a lipoma on my back, which was great. Like, she really was there for me. Um, she, like I said, she helped us with reconnect. Yeah, she's like a big sister. Yeah. Yeah. So how does this work, Devon? Tell me, like you're minding your own business and then what? I mean, does Christine, I imagine Christine Chu has a huge team of people around her. Does someone reach out? Is it a DM? Is it a phone call? I mean, how, 